Okay. Now let's backtrack. Y'all is not going to understand this foolery right here. Now remember the truths. Um, first baby mama was saying all these things against him. Now she's on here doing an interview with somebody allegedly saying that Miss Latrue had some kind of motive and allegedly had his daughter saying these things and how her daughter was so um, crazy about her dad and how um, he was the look. Uh, uh, I can't even get it out. His pride, pride and joy. And she was a daddy's girl. And now, allegedly, the child is um, suffering from um, everything that has went on behind this whole situation. That's why I said, don't bring kids off into no mess. And especially if you got a motive behind it. Now, I knew it was something more that was going to come out behind this. Now, this is sad. And it's sad for the child. So, allegedly, now this is the biological mother of the first daughter that's speaking out. And she is speaking out saying something totally different than what she said in the beginning. So, so you, you say you found out a couple of months after that. Yes, I didn't know nothing about it. Nothing. Charlie, there when you found out? Who? Was the Charlie still there when you found out? No, she was back home. She came back home um, the beginning. Hold on. No, the beginning of November. I remember, yeah. Mm. yeah November. So you, you, you wasn't. So, um, do you feel like Brianna just um pretty much helping Desharia out financially to be buying her to keep her from her dad to try to you know make a way for her not to um have a relationship with her dad? To be honest, I don't even know the motive behind that. I really, because my daughter really truly cares for Tashari, I mean, for Brianna, and, like, I really don't know how, really, how truly her motive behind it. Um, I, sometimes I feel like she's using my uh, my daughter for whatever situation, whatever plan she got cooked. I don't know. To be honest, like, Brianna got me in a place where I'm confused. I, I can't bring her. Like, I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> What's her motive behind stuff? <laughs> think her motive about having a baby was to have one up on you because she didn't want him to have an only child with you. She wanted to, like, get that leverage. Now, now, I do know. I want to speak on this because I actually know. She, that was her plan because when they first met, um, she kept saying, she texted me one day and she's like, oh, I'm pregnant by Robert. And I said, congratulations. And I don't know if she didn't like my response to what I said. Oh, she's not going to be the only one no more. I'm like, okay, congratulations. I mean, I don't know what you want out of She's like, she's going to make it her mission for Deshari not to be the only one. Like, okay. I don't. That was her motive. Yeah. Now, I did remember, she did text me that. She was like, oh, um. I'm having a day by him. I said, congratulations. I don't know if she's wanting to make me jealous or what. I'm like, uh, me and Robert been over for years. I don't have no feelings for him. So congratulations mm-hmm. to you. Congratulations to him. I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> Do you have a relationship with any of his sisters? Do you have a relationship? Um, How is your relationship with her aunt? No, I don't care for none of them. Well, that little well, let's move on. Yeah. <laughs> And how was Robert and um, the Shari relationship before Brianna? It was great. It was great. Her, her daddy was her pride and joy. He was her pride and joy. Like, 
he he the, the day he found out I was pregnant with the shark. Now, this is a prime example why the church failed. We don't pull children off into situations like this. This should be a lesson learned because this whole thing just was just too much. And now look who end up suffering for it. The child, the children. And that's why I see it pray for the family because we do things for money. People do that should not be done and do not realize it's going to be a domino effect and who it's going to harm. And in, in this situation, it seems as if his oldest daughter is going through now because of the whole situation and, you know, of what the troops went through and now everything is then came back around on the girl I don't want to keep saying her name, that she allegedly um, planned the, 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 the pregnancy, um, wanted to split the daddy and, and the oldest daughter up, and now the mama is giving an interview with folks. I don't know whether it's to get numbers up, to get some recognition, whatever it may be. But all I know is children are involved. And it's not right. It's not right. Everybody looking for a way to make some money, some kind of way. But y'all, please let this be a lesson learned. Let's not use the children to try to make money because they the ones got to live through this and they not the ones that's spending the money. They not the ones that's living the lifestyle. Now, this whole thing is supposed to stir back up all over again. This is so sad to me. It's so sad. And it really makes me angry because I knew that that child had a deep love for her daddy. Regardless of what his situation was with his wife, she should never have been pulled off into this whole thing. Mm, mm, mm. Have a beautiful day, Pink Horse, and pray for this family.